Girls Beauty Hey beauties, Andre. This video will be a review on the John Frieda Brilliant Brunette Visibly Brighter Inshallah Shower Lightning Treatment, Shampoo, and Conditioner. So we'll try this on my sister later on, probably in a different video. I'll point it out real quick in a vlog or something. She's a light brunette. My hair is not brunette. I am in light auburn. I hope you guys can see the color. And I still wanted to try this. You know, the closest thing to brunette. When I first seen this product, I was like, uh, something that lightens your hair. Like, okay. So the first thing is the Brilliant Brunette Visibly Bright in Shower Lightening Treatment. This is what you apply first. This is what it looks like. It has a lighter shade and a darker shade in the back. When you squeeze it, one is oil texture, the other one is a cream texture. As you can see, that's the texture. The smell, it smells like hair colors. It does have peroxide, so it probably has less of the color, less peroxide in it for a light touch, I would say. But yeah, this is the most important thing. You just wet your hair, you apply this all over your hair before you wash. It's a pre wash thing. You're going to be very, very surprised. You wet your hair. I apply this all over, it foams up, which I really like. I wish all colors were like this. It just foams up like a shampoo. Lathers very nice. Leave it in for about five minutes. That's what it is recommended. This is the real deal, okay? This is what you would expect the color from, okay? After that, you do have the shampoo, the Brilliant Brunette Visibly Brighter Subtle sh Lightning Shampoo. Gradually creates naturally glowing color, all right? So this is what you wash your hair with afterwards. This, it's beautiful. This shampoo is so pretty. It has a very gold leaf green, slightly sticky, but it's so beautiful and it smells amazing, okay? The shampoo smells so good. It smells like very perfumey-ish. Yeah, but it smells really good. Um, I really, really liked it. Especially seeing the color, you can see it has the color that could add some deposit, color deposit on your hair. The shampoo condition look exactly the same, which is a no-no for me. The only thing I probably like is the fact that in the back, it says conditioner shampoo. That's the only way you can probably see it clearly, but I don't like shampoos and conditioner packaging looking exactly the same, but they do. I washed my hair with it, and then after that, I did, by the way, I did separate my curls while I had the in-shower treatment in my hair, so I had no tangles, and it wasn't like something very dry or anything, so it was easy to just separate my curls and detangle my hair as such. So when I reached the shampoo, my hair was still good. Then I used the Brilliant Brunette, Brazily Brighter, Subtle Lightning Conditioner. I apply this all over my hair, just like rake it through after I rinse the shampoo off. I left this in for a while, it does not say how long, so I left this in for probably three minutes. Just to like kind of condition, put moisture into my hair. It illuminates natural tones and nourishes, and this, for the texture, it has a very light yellowish color and it's very like a very 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 soft cream but I found out as you could see there is there was a difference especially on my lighter areas that you can see right here like the ones with this color so you can see there's a difference between this and this right yeah that's where I see lighter a lighter color I feel like as you, you use the shampoo conditioner probably help in the lightning an instant help probably temporary but an instant help but I think the thing that really is the real deal is the in shower lightning treatment all right it smells just like hair color hair color is so strong that it makes you almost sick not like that you just start to smell that that scent and then it's like oh okay i'll be fine i'll keep using it and i keep you guys updated if it, how it is but it works it really works it basically illuminates the spectrum of brunette tones this is what they do and after i did that i just made sure i dried my hair i used to use the Kanye brush the new blow drying brush that they have the new set i used that one I like the fact that it has holes in it. I know I always use blow drying brushes with holes. It's easier for air to go through and dry your hair faster. The bristles on that brush are very, very wide, so it's easy for people with textured hair to take all the curls out of your hair. I do not recommend it to blow dry your hair straight. I do recommend to blow dry your hair dry, okay? Because it's very separated apart. No, like, no, I wouldn't say bristles, probably teeth, the teeth of that brush, because the bristles are the ones that kind of grab, tug on your hair in a straight kind of way. But those, they just, I feel like they're perfect for taking your curls out or to dry your hair. That's it. Not to really blow dry straight. Shea Moisture Color Hand Smoothie. Right before I dry this section, I went two passes on each section. Not completely dry. Probably like 90% dry. I applied my Fexi rods. The gray ones. I some firm rods. Some orange ones. All over my head. Probably around 12 little rods. And then the next day I just took them off. And, and these are the results. I know dry hair shows more color than when your hair is wet. But as you can see, you did see the wet. You can see that it did show more color. Yes, guys, that is my review on the John Frieda Brilliant Brunette Visibly Brighter Shampoo Conditioner and In Shower Treatment. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check previous reviews down below. And bye. With these lovely old people. Why you say it like that? It seems like she's lying. No. <laughs> like. Oh. What?
You don't put. Look, oh, ah! Lick it off. Lick it off. Yeah, okay. Keeping everything that was in that box. 